stand clear. The train is arriving shortly. So we, as musicians, travel all the time for auditions, we go to concerts, master classes, festivals. We travel with our instrument on a regular basis. Sometimes that includes getting on an airplane. I'm sure you've seen all over Facebook, all over Twitter, sometimes even in the news that instruments get damaged by these airlines. So here are some tips that will help you travel with your instrument. So the first thing that I kind of think about whenever I'm traveling with my guitar, is the plane gonna be big enough to store my instrument? I always try to go to the website of the airline that I'm gonna book the flight with and then do a Google search and make sure that, you're, that the plane has a big enough overhead compartment to put my guitar in. If I'm trying to book a flight and I notice it's a plane that's small, I'm gonna automatically choose the next flight even if I have to pay a little bit more just so I have a chance of my guitar fitting in the overhead compartment. Now, for those of you that have violins, flutes, you guys are lucky because uh, flute especially, you can just stick it in your carry-on bag really quickly and no big deal. Now, for us to have big instruments, we do have to worry about that, so make sure that the overhead compartment is big enough to fit your instrument. Now, some airlines do offer you to pay a little extra to get on the plane first. Um, if that is an option, do it. Airlines basically state that if, you, if there's room, put it in there. Uh, first come, first serve, obviously, so that's why it's always a good idea to go, to try to get on the airplane first. Also, make sure that the plane has a closet because if the overhead compartments are full, you can put it in the coat closet. There is an option where you can buy seats for your instrument. Uh, I, I, I've never seen this option online. I think you really have to call to make, to make this kind of arrangement. Maybe you can get some kind of deal or maybe a discount or something like that when you're buying a, a seat for yourself and your instrument. I've, I've never had to do anything like this. I've always had room in the overhead compartment except for that one time, that, that one time. And Delta, yes, Delta, thank you for ruining my guitar case. And speaking of cases, I would always recommend having a hard case. Um, there is a philosophy out there that if you have a gig bag, you're more likely to carry it on the plane. Your instrument, do whatever you want, but I probably would never recommend that uh, because there is a chance that you might run to that employee that won't let you carry it on the plane and you have to check it or do a gate check or something like that and you know they those things are just tossed around like like you know they don't they don't really care even with that fragile sticker don't care so my recommendation is to have a hard case sometimes the cases are actually flight ready if the manufacturer does some kind of standard for that make sure that it is ready for that now if you're going to get a case that's kind of like a generic case not a custom fit make sure that the that the instrument is properly secured so there's no movement at all so if you need to stuff socks in there or blankets or t-shirts whatever you need to do to stuff it so there's no movement at all now, when I'm at the gate, I always have a copy of the airline's instrument policy because it clearly states on the website what can go in the overhead compartment. A lot of the times I've noticed while going through the airline's policy for making this video, I've noticed that a lot of airlines basically state that if there's room, put it in there. First come, first serve, obviously. That's why it's always a good idea to try to get on the airplane first. Always carry a copy of the airline policy just in case one of the employees just don't know, they're new, they've never encountered anything like this. Always carry a copy of the policy and show them a physical copy. You never know, your phone might die or something like that. Always carry a hard copy with you at all times for whatever airline you're traveling with. That employee just might not know what is going on or they could be brand new, don't know it, never encountered an instrument on an airplane. So they're, they're gonna do the safe route, obviously. Um, if that fails, also carry a copy of the FAA law because in this law that was passed a couple years ago, it states that the airlines must try to accommodate you to, to for you to carry your instrument on there. If that plane is full, see if you can get it on another one. Do everything you can and don't check it in. I chose some of the most common airlines in kind of the United States area and found their policy page and I put the links down below along with the uh, FAA law. So just go ahead and print them out. Uh, if, if I don't have the airline that you're flying with, just Google that airline policy, instrument policy, find out what they have, print it out, and have it ready just in case they, they, they try to stop you. Oh, yeah, one last thing. 
Okay, this is just between between us. Yeah, between us. If you don't want to pay extra to, to get on a plane first, if you have your boarding pass on your phone, they don't look where your seat is. It might say it on the screen, but once it's scanned, what are they gonna do? Not let you on the plane? So have your boarding pass on your phone because you have to flip it down to scan and you get on the plane. Problem solved. If, uh, if I didn't go over something that you have a question about or if you have an interesting story about flying with an, with an instrument, put them down below. I'd like to hear about it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and see you guys later. Peace. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Have a good day. You too. Bye. Now, there are also some of those people that just go ahead and check it all the time. Well, you know, hopefully nothing happens to you. You know, those of you that also play piano, don't have to travel with your piano. Guys are lucky. You can. You can, but man, those fees, those fees will be crazy.